Hello, Scorpio gang, gang, gang. Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses. I love, I love, I love, love, love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To all of you rock stars who like, share, subscribe, leave comments, donate to the channel, book me for readings, let the ads play. I love you, love you, love you. You're totally amazing. I'm sending love, light, prosperity, and all the abundance your heart can hold because you fucking deserve it. Okay, period. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your spliff, your blunt, your coffee, your tea, your H2O, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to stay tapped into these energies like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so so your girl can get all the credit from you, too. If you like a personal reading with me, you need to be a part of the members-only community. Catch me on the live or when I'm running a special. Everything else you need to know is going to be in the description box below. All right, Scorpio. Let's get into the messages. What's the messages here for Scorpio? Okay. The first energy out is Libra here in the reverse. Um, it says... I know I acted as if I could make up my mind about our relationship, but it was really because I was scared, scared of hurting you and you hurting me. So you could be involved with a Libra here. I feel like this is somebody who was just scared to show emotions. Showing emotions makes this person feel weak. Makes them feel vulnerable, emasculated. They hate that feeling for some reason. So this goes back to something deeper than dating you, Scorpio. Yeah, false flame is coming out. Um, this is somebody who causes like emotional stress and just create problems because of whatever this is they're dealing with from childhood, I would assume. Um, they're very unsure about their feelings towards you, Scorpio. Um, you give them more than they give you. You put pour more into this connection, okay? And this is somebody who doesn't, you know, facilitate you growing. And I feel like you uncomfortable around them. I feel like y'all have outgrown each other this period. And that literally sounds like what's going on. Yeah, look, I can't make this shit up. Insecurities. This person is really like going through this, this sense of entitlement type shit with you. And I feel like this person is dealing with, this person could have been raped as a child or something. I always get that. Because this person feels emasculated. When you, you know, when you love on them or when you, like this person, they, they just cause distress and create conflicts when they feel like you're loving on them or something. Like they hate love. It's weakness. They're very insecure as well. This this person, they're not sure where they are in their life right now. They wear masks. They hide their feelings. Their, their worst fear is rejection, Scorpio. And they constantly cover up who they are in fear of what others may really truly think about them. And I just feel like you see this person. You know that they're a false flame. You know that this person has not healed and not even trying to. You're pulling cosmic love in the reverse. It says, even though we're not together, we're connected through and through. <clears throat> when I sleep, I dream of you. When I make, when I awake, I think of you. I'm able to feel you as if you were physically here. Yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, so this could be somebody, too, who could have involved you in some domestic violence here with this being the false twin and... Knowing that just any flame, twin flame relationship is very tumultuous at times. Like, it get very heated. This a false flame. So I'm feeling like, you know, it could have been some um, domestic violence here involved. Because it was definitely a split. 
I feel like you viewed this person as cosmic love. <clears throat> you thought at first <clears throat> this was going to be somebody you chill out with. Now you're pulling the Leo here. This person could have Leo in their charts or simply what I'm getting here, Scorpio, is source, uh, source explaining to me like kind of like who this person was when you met them. They were magnetic. You know, they they seem very outgoing and creative, you know, somewhat of a leader and very generous. And then it just switched. Yeah, victim mentality is here. <laughs> the overall energy. Feel stuck and was neck and wait a minute. Feel stuck and has a negative attitude. Thinks life is against them, has difficulty coping, believes they have no control over things. They happen to them and blames others. Yeah. <clears throat> I just feel like Scorpio, you realize, you know, this way this person thought about life and how they moved through life, it just was not a match for you after after a certain point. Y'all just like you just had to leave or you outgrew whatever this is. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Let's clarify. Yeah, a Libra Leo. Could be very significant. This person plays victim. It's it's almost like you build this person up, Scorpio, for them to kind of work against you almost in the connection. Um, this person just flat out lied about who they were, what they were doing, and what they were about. You you fit you figured it out pretty quick that this person is false. This person <coughs> could even be married, I just heard. Clarify Libra here for Scorpio. The two of wands. Definitely a decision has to be made about this connection. And I feel like the decision you made was to split. You chose a different path here. Yeah, the death card is coming out in the reverse. This person refuses to change. This person refuses to heal whatever it is that has them insecure and, you know, trying to be a part of a connection when they know they're non-committal. They're not somebody who's capable, even mentally stable to be in a connection. This is somebody who wants you to stay too, Scorpio. Yeah, the devil. I can't make it up. The death in reverse with the devil and the two of wands. <clears throat> this is somebody who wanted you to choose. They... Upsets crazy ass. And it's like, nah, you called it for what it was. It was false, a false flame. The will of fortune is in reverse. <clears throat> I feel like this person, once you walk away, Scorpio, I feel like they're going to lose pretty much everything. Even their fucking mind. This person, you know... They, they're going to have to sit with it. It's something about you you and your exit, Scorpio, that, that allows your ex that time to sit with whatever it is they need to sit with. And depending on what it is they sit with, you know, a lot of them sit with sex. They sit with thinking about all the sexual um, encounters you had. Some, some guys, you know, or girls, they sit and think about, you know, just how you've been to them in, in those times of need or whatever this is. They have that time to sit with the fact that you're gone, okay? And where do I go from here type shit. With this person, with this Libra, they haven't fucked up thoughts because they think that you're leaving them for somebody else when really they've escaped reality because they know that they're not your person, okay? They know that they have a whole lot of insecurities. This person knows they shouldn't be in a relationship, They're not available for uh, for a commitment here. Cla clarify false false flame. I can't talk. Yeah, you're pulling the eight of pentacles in reverse. This shit just don't work. It does not work. It's not attainable. Yeah, the six of cups is here. This person is, you know, sitting with it. Like I said, this person is reminiscing, thinking about you, thinking about what they could have did different, how they could have moved. Yeah, the tower in reverse. 
This is somebody who don't want to let you go, Scorpio. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, they just want you to carry this burden. The burden of their insecurities, the burden of them talking to you anyway. It could even be fighting on you here. You know, this person just wants you to ride this shit out with them. And it's like, like you in a fucking country western song or something. It's like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. It, it's not right. It's not, this shit just shouldn't have never been the devil. The death in reverse, the two of wands, the will of fortune, like, no. People just want you to hang on so they can continue to play victim. And it's like, no, I got I to gotta continue to grow. I can't let you stop my life. Clarify this insecurities. This is somebody who want to stay connected to you no matter what. And they just feel like for some reason you're going to take on that responsibility because that's all it is with the Ten of Wands. This person almost like a child or something. Another child. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. On insecurity. This person, don't have, they, they, they feel very small. Everything around them feels huge. Yeah, the Two of Swords. And instead of them getting their shit together, they, they want to continue to be stuck. The Two of Swords talks about being stuck somewhere in, in between. Like, this person know what they need to do, but they won't do it. The judgment is here. And they think they're going to have a reconciliation with you or some type of inner calling here. They, they they won't heed the inner call. That's the thing. Yeah, the two of pentacles in reverse. This person don't want to get balanced. They like this lifestyle that they living with you, Scorpio, but it's ending. <laughs> they, love, they love their lifestyle until it ends. Sometimes, Scorpio, I really think how loyal we be and good to our partners, I really think they assume, like, your, your, your bank account numbers and, like, your credit score. Like, it's almost like this person who don't have shit always walk into a life with Scorpio where Scorpio got all their shit together. Or they getting their shit together. Like, they way better off. Like, the person don't deserve you is what I'm trying to say. When they come in with nothing, your something... Becomes halfway a media screw. You know, it comes in that two of swords energy. You just stuck it, you just stuck somewhere in between. You ain't going back, but you ain't going forward either. Cause you you got another dependent. Okay, you can file you can file this person on your taxes and they still playing victim the next year. Clarify this cosmic love in the reverse. This is somebody who hasn't I don't feel like it's a third party situation. I just feel like this person just has not grown. Yeah, the seven of wands in reverse on the cosmic love. Yeah, it's like this person just was not who they said say they were. This person was not able to stand their ground. Yeah, the queen of cups in reverse. I feel like clarifying the seven of wands. I feel like that's when you started losing feelings for this person. That's when you start realizing this person just going to be who they are. They're not changing. They're okay with living with insecurities. They're okay with being non-committal. They're okay with playing the victim. And like, Scorpio just can't jive with that type of shit. The Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah, it's like you put this whole connection on ice. Once you found out, verified that this was a false flame, you, false flame you're done. The King of Wands in reverse. I'm telling you, this is somebody who had little or no action towards this con connection. No date nights, no I love yous, no you look good today. This person wanted you to just keep pouring, 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 pouring. And they're not giving nothing in return. This person want to be a leader in your life, but they don't have anything to lead. And that's what's crazy. <laughs> Clarify this uh, Leo here. So you put this fire sign on ice, this Libra or this fucking Leo. Take it how it resonates. Look at all these wands. I'm leaning more towards the Leo, maybe with Libra placements, perhaps. Yeah, so on the Leo, you're pulling the four pinnacles in reverse, yeah. I, I think you're just not fucking with it no more. Like, it just, it don't seem right to you. Why, why would you keep connecting with this person who who wants to play victim? You got the eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, I just feel like... This just feels like a tower moment. This feels like an abrupt leave with the three of wands. 
Yeah, it's like they see in the back of you, Scorpio. And then you got the nine of wands here in reverse on this Leo. This is <coughs> this is somebody who's not seeing the situation for what it truly is. Okay. This is somebody who see this going another way and it's just not. They're not prosperous. They're not progressing. Maybe this person felt that way because you and their life allowed them to feel that way. Because of the experience of your life, for them touching your life. But like, yeah, but in their personal life, this person is stagnant. They hadn't grown a bit since you know them. And it's just like, <coughs> you're tired of it. You can't ignore. <coughs> Sorry, Scorpio. <clears throat> you can't ignore. Give me one second. Sorry about this, Scorpio. <coughs> so, <coughs> this is somebody who was looking at. <coughs> <coughs> Sitting here looking at you leave and thinking for some reason you return back to visit them in the hospital. It's like, nah. It's like you, this whoever this person, what source is showing me is this person want to stay in this hospital type mentality because they know you're a healer. The only way this person knows to keep you in their life, they feel like, Scorpio, is for them to be the victim. They don't know any other way. Because healing to them means they got to forgive whoever did this to them. Which they do. That's why this person won't do it. They don't, they don't want to let this person off. Okay? And they just... This person has accepted that they're defeated. Because when you don't forgive the person, you're the one that's defeated, not them. Yeah, the charity in reverse. This person just stuck in that. They stuck. And they want you to stay stuck with their ass. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? The three of wands is here. That lets me know you're walking away. And you're progressing. Yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, it's it's something about your inner knowledge, Scorpio, now that won't allow you to continue into continue as something when you realize it's a facade, it's not real. This person is not does not have a plan. This person cuz the behavior this person has showed you is the, is the only thing. What else what else can they show you? They haven't done anything to change. So this is somebody realizing that this shit keep happening. Year after year after year, we're in the same place. You turned off by it, Scorpio. You're bored. You no longer want to do this shit. Call life with this person. I mean, that's just what it is. And this person somehow seems like you feels like you should be obligated to him, but that's that victim mentality. Yeah. The high priestess is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. It's the King of Pentacles. It's like Scorpio, you really don't need this person. The Temperance card is like. This person is making you downgrade when you when you if this if you take this person away and the things that you do for this person because you thought you were helping build them up then it's like you're being restored back financially your foundation is being restored you're getting your peace back with the temperance card here overall energy is a page of swords you could find yourself studying um a, a totally different field as far as career is concerned. Because I'm definitely getting. Well we know it's a new beginning. Because this is ending. But yeah. I'm getting this person really just didn't know how to. Express love. Because they. You know. Their experiences with love. Are associated with pain here. Alright. Let's get some respectfully the truth here. And see. How this person really feels, Scorpio. But they can't say it. This person only knows how to relate to the feminine energy. 
and victim mentality. Yeah, look, this person is saying they want a baby. This person is trying to trap you, Scorpio. Anything, because they know it's just what I just said. This person knows in order for them to have stand power with you, they got to get you stuck. And there it is. They want a baby. And it says, no one can get in the way of what I feel for you. Scorpio, you got in the way. Because you know what this person... And this person truly love may love you as far as what they depict love to be, but that's not that's not who you are. And that's the thing people need to understand. When your energy don't match mine, it just don't fucking match. Don't be hostile. Don't send me no bad juju. Just go about your fucking business. Cause you knew you weren't you you knew you were not doing what you needed to do in the first place. Just period. You knew you couldn't keep up what you started. It says you're everything to me. Yeah, that's the truth. I cut him or her off, Icebox. So for some of y'all, Scorp Scorpio's a third-party situation could have been involved. Because people who hurt, hurt people. It says you were just someone on my checklist. Wow. And fell in love. You were somebody this Libra Leo came in and tried to fuck over. Okay, and they got fucking God. That's just period. It says, I pray for you. Yeah. I bet. And that's the thing. People are praying for things that they know they don't they, they don't match that energy. I'm telling y'all, you people can manifest. Spiritual law work. Just like gravity, some go up, come down. This person prayed for you, they manifested you. They just wasn't ready. With the will of fortune in reverse and the devil, this person this person is codependent on you. That's the problem. It says, I was made to love you. That person really think that. They really think that. It says, it took me a while to see you were right. My ego was in the way. Yeah. I'm telling you, this person, they, they're very, like, prideful. They, this person acts like they, they're supposed to be... I, I, I don't know. They, they, this person wants you to continue to, like, heal them. They want you to continue to make them better. And it's like, that's not my job. Like, how dare you want me to pour into you and you still playing victim and not doing anything. Anything you pour into this person is like holes through an hourglass. Yeah, it's like, No. Your love has me looking crazy. This person really feel like that. You hold too much power. Yeah, they hate that. And when he say that, he, he's meaning he can't shake you. Because normally these people who are very insecure, at, at you know, in the beginning, they glad the relationship ended because they, they know they can't keep it up. It says, I'm not ready to commit. But the thing about Scorpio's love is the moment that they are, <laughs> you're the only person they think about, which always, you know, makes a problem because most times Scorpio's moved on with somebody else. It says, I'm so embarrassed by my behavior as you should be. It says, I'm seeing you in a whole new light. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Once they start healing and once they start one commitment, they start seeing you in a whole new light, but it's like, what? We were in a full, full blown relationship, and it's over. And now you seeing me in a whole new light, too late, too soon. It says I will be calling you soon, and they mean that. What they hope to accomplish, I have no idea. So, Scorpio, this person probably done reached out to you or probably will be reaching out. It says I run out of fear facing my shadows. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah <coughs> I run out of fear of facing my shadows that means this person is going to do the healing work now they want to commit and guess what Scorpio they calling they contacting for a lot of y'all this already happened they can't help it now that they healed and loving on themselves they want the best for them the best for them is you it's just too late. The best for you, for them was you then. <laughs> they just couldn't express it. Now this person is saying, like, now I'm able 
to express it since I've, you know, now since I'm facing everything. It says, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yo, this person feel like they hurt you, betrayed you, let you down. Now this person is able to say that. It says, I wish I could erase all the bad. Yep, they mean that. I sold you a dream that I can't give you right now. Yep. It says, I want to give you the world. Wow. I'm lying to you right now. Damn. Scorpio, what? It says I'm hiding behind material things. Wow. Person says I'm lying to you right now. It says uh, what you've been up to lately. Now this person want to figure out what you're doing, how you're doing, because you, that you ain't doing it with them. My whole world is falling apart. That's the truth. Wow. Best friends. This person want to see if y'all can be friends now and try to work out way back to some. It's a no. It says, I pray about us all the time. Stop praying about us. Stalking social media. I'm telling you, this person manifests you. They prayed. I prayed for you. And now they praying about your heart. This person trying to manifest you, Scorpio, back. And it's like, it ain't going to work. Because the wheel of fortune in reverse. It says, let's go on a vacation. Yeah, this person trying to bait you. She or he doesn't matter. They telling you this third party you caught them with and then mean shit. And that infuriated you even more. It says, I'm at my breaking point. Yeah, this person is codependent on you. They're very obsessed. Now they're realizing, damn, my best friend gone. It says, I belong to only you. Now you belong to only me. After you've been having sex out of both draws, it's like, are you serious right now? It says, I'm speechless because I honestly don't know what to say. Yeah, because you saying, you you telling the truth now. Yeah, you this person mouth running like diarrhea. They telling you everything. Give me a few months. Yeah, Scorpio, this person, <laughs> they're realizing like that this this person is realizing now that they're a lifer. They're gonna do life without Scorpio, okay? It says overall energy, I'm finally going to put you first. No, you're not. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you put me first. It's that type of energy for me. Like it's a wrap, it's over, it's done. Let me see. Let me get one more energy here. Y'all excuse my sniffles, my little coughs. I do apologize. All right, what's the additional messages here for Scorpio? Man, this person is praying for you. This person wants you back, Scorpio. Now that they healed, I'm telling you. When they heal it, when they heal it, really start. When they start facing that shit, all they. Want to do is commit to Scorpio. Clarify. 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 On the bottom of the deck, it says, I may have shut the door on love for the moment, but you are my one and only. This person loved the mind games, the manipulation tactics. He liked to do this shit just to see if it worked. It says there is someone else in the picture. Well, we knew that. It says I feel broken inside. It says I don't want the responsibility right now. I can barely deal with my own things. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this person, this person, they had nothing to offer, Scorpio. It says I am sorry. I'm only thinking about myself right now. Yeah. It says I'm trying to move on, but it hasn't been easy. Yep. It says, I'm having a difficult time coping with this situation. <laughs> I bet you are. It says, I'm trying to run away from you, yet everything reminds me of you. Yeah, see, that's what be going on, Scorpio, in real time. Like, you be you be done set your mind on something else, gone somewhere else, not even thinking about this shit. And this person, they start processing this heartbreak. They start processing these eternal traumas that they had. And for some reason, lo and behold, when they start to do that, the first face they see, the first thought in their mind is Scorpio. And this person is going to have to deal with the fact, I keep hearing this, that they're going to have to do life without you, Scorpio. 
All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, share, subscribe, let those ads play. I'll talk to you guys in another video.